Today we are going to this um, store called Pop Fuzz in Brooklyn, New York. We are actually just visiting my family for Thanksgiving, um, but we have today like to ourselves. So um, we, I found out about this channel. I mean, I found out about this shop through a YouTube channel, and we've been wanting to go, but we were, you know, down in New York. But since we're, I mean, down in New York, down in Orlando, and since we're in, you know, New Jersey, and the city is like. 40 minutes New York I mean Uber drive um, we decided to you know take a visit to the store I'm really excited the city is closer but Brooklyn is a lot farther oh yeah the city is closer this one is in Brooklyn so yeah we're gonna go look around and maybe after can we eat something yes I need the address so I have no idea where we are okay going in so this is how the outdoor outside of the store looks we're going to go inside I'm going to go inside and ask if I can record in there I have so many pops so they have some pops here but they also have a pop wall over there and I did ask and they did say I could record so I'm really excited oh my goodness it's been a while since I've seen like you know the old monster high dolls oh wow. and ever after high dolls too <laughs> brings me back so much memories Oh my gosh, guys, I remember seeing this when the movie was out and I totally was like, oh yeah, I'll get it some other time. Oh my gosh, Book of Life, Sibalba. That is so cool. How much? $12.90? I'm getting it. I'm making, my, I'm making space in my suitcase. <laughs> oh my goodness. I actually came in and I asked the lady that was in the front of the store if I could record and she noticed me right away and um, apparently her husband who's the um, owner of the store and I love his channel um, he apparently has been following my channel for a while so we have been just talking to him here for a while now he's so 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 nice and right now you can see he's talking with Ryan Ryan is walking him but they also have this um, original vinyl toy that he made so we're gonna get it and I'm going to definitely show it to you it's a really cool toy even before coming here when I saw that he made his his own toy on his YouTube channel. I was going to get it, so it's really cool. But here's Ziggy. Hello, how are you? <laughs> his channel is called Have Fun to Play, and it's really, really, really fun channel. If you like pops, you have to go uh, check I'm out his channel. I'm addicted to them. Yes, mm -hmm. so I'm, a, I'm a pop addict. <laughs> yeah, and you can tell that he is addicted to them. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I got, I got tons of boxes. I still have. To oh yeah, sell. these are all of his hauls, and he's yeah, going to do can, a video on them too. You can have a, a quick a sneak peek. Oh, oh, quick sneak peek. Let's oh, I feel. Got going in here. This is a future video. We got. Oh all, my. We got. Oh my goodness. People are constantly trading to me, so I get. Yes. Oh, oh that one's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, so definitely go check out his channel. I will link it in the description box below for you guys. Ryan, what he said was cut off, but I will also leave the information to his shop in the description for you guys and that's my robot. to come and um, check out. And that's the robot. That's his Pop name Buzz. is Pop Fuzz. He's the mascot. Yeah, so that's the glow in the dark. This is the um, silver metallic. And, and right there. Yeah, it's there's the right red here. one there. He also has blue one. He also has DIY ones. I want to get the DIY and the glow in the dark. Ryan's definitely getting the silver one because you guys know he likes shiny stuff. Here is the DIY Pop Fuzz, the robot. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely going to paint this. I want to make it really pretty and pastel. Oh, they also have a black DIY one, but they made very small numbers, so I'm, I feel so lucky to get one. We're gonna dig through. I'm gonna give you guys like a little walkthrough. Quick walkthrough of the store. So they also have like VHS and um, vinyls and comic books. And um, they also sell pull-ups. He said that, you know, a lot of his pull-ups needs to be restocked. But they also do sell pull-ups too. And over this way. See, they have like Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff like that. Or we're going into image anime. Of course, I'm gonna go inside and see if I can record. I know I have to be quieter in this store, so. They said yes. Ooh, look at that. That's so cool. I have that one. You do? Uh-huh. How come I've never seen it? I have a lot. <laughs> <laughs>
here they have some Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon, and these are um, figure arts. SH figure arts. More pops. And by the way, they were like totally cool about you know, just recording videos or taking pictures. Just like, just as long as you can, you don't make a mess. Openness, this is so tempting. I have this Rama and I have shampoo, but I don't have Ryoga. Oh, it's so tempting. He's 55. Oh, some Nendoroids. Sakura, and then they have Lily. Do they have Mickey? I don't know, I'm looking. The next store we're going into is the line store. It's line store in Times Square. There's so much people. It is so busy. So busy. There's a giant bear. Look at all the cuteness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, what are you? You're so cute. How cute. I think these are BTS merchandise. I'm pretty sure. One of my friends is a big BTS fan. I might get some and just send it to her. Guys, these pillows are huge. Just to show you guys in, um, in person. Yep, see, that's how big it is. Big. Oh, I love the heart one. It's so ugly cute. <laughs> it looks angry. I think these laptop sleeves are so cute, but unfortunately mine's 15 inches, so it won't fit. Ooh. And then here is the BTS character. And then there's, oh my goodness, there's a whole nother store right here. <gasps> I love this. See, this is the pink tree. This is the kind of pink I wanted. Unfortunately, we haven't been successful finding a pink tree. Can we buy this? I know, right? This is super cute. It's a hand-held mirror. Oh, and the headband is really cute too. That plushie is so cute, but it's so big. I'm not going to be able to fit it in my suitcase. I'm so sorry that I cannot get everything on camera because this store is so busy. But I find this to be really adorable and it's supposed to be magnetic clip holder, which is both cute and useful. If I had more suitcase space, I would totally buy these. These are so cute. These are about, I would say about 12 inches, maybe slightly taller. But they have this um, pink Skazan um, jumper one and then the black lace dress one. And they also have the trench coat one right there. They're super duper cute. I am back home and I apologized for the quality of the video and if the audio was in and out and if like I was like everywhere I honestly did not think that I was number one going to have a chance to go on a toy hunt or number two um, record a video while I was on my Thanksgiving break it was very spur of the moment and like I said because I didn't expect it I didn't even bring my camera and what I find myself not doing when I am not recording on a camera like this, if I am just vlogging on my phone, I don't really take thumbnails for some reason. I think it's partially also because, you know, where we were, it was so busy. And even though, you know, I seem very energetic and outgoing on camera, that's because like I'm in my comfort, like zone and also like i'm surrounded by people that i you know see every day like ryan or my sister but in reality when i see a lot of people when i see a big crowd of people it gives me anxiety <laughs> so whenever i go to like times square or like the city and or any stores that's like super crowded my initial reaction or my initial thought would be like okay let's quickly shop and get out as soon as possible so i did not take a thumbnail so for that i apologize but i wanted to come on here kind of tying everything together so when i went to new jersey ryan and i um took um lift to brooklyn and visited the store pop fuzz where we met the owner ziggy and from that store, I got three items. The first two I got are the Pop Fuzz, the robot. These are his mascot for the store. Not only that, he actually designed the, um, I, I don't know why I almost said monster, but um, the robot and 
produced it and I think they're so amazing I think it's so amazing when collectors you know as a collector I think a lot of collectors have dreams to make their own toys so when I see that they actually make it happen it's just amazing to me so I got the glow-in-the-dark version they have several other versions including different color variations and metallic one Ryan got the metallic one I got that glow-in-the-dark one and I got the DIY white version of Pop Fuzz the robot they also had the black Pop Fuzz the robot DIY version but for me I just wanted to get the white one because that's what I'm most familiar with when I am trying to customize toys I haven't customized toys for I think about three years now so I'm like totally rusty but I want to get back into it um, in this house that Ryan and I have rented together we were going to initially have a um, guest bedroom but because I have so much stuff Ryan is learning that I have a lot of stuff I mean I've been collecting for so many years you know since I was 14 so it's inevitable you know not only that I have a lot of art supplies too so I am thinking maybe I'll turn that guest room into like a guest room slash art room I am not sure so um, when that is set up I'm going to be able to customize more and just that just makes me really excited because it's a t um, side of this hobby that I have completely fell in love with and that was the side that I fell in love with the most when I first started collecting but I wasn't able to like get in tune with that for years because I've been just so busy but I think I'm just like you know settling down and I, I don't know I feel really good so I want to um, customize this you know DIY Pup Fuzz the robot and he said he didn't make too many of them so I feel really 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 honored that he let me buy one <laughs> And then from his store, from Pop Fuzz store, I also found this The Book of Life Zibalba Funko um, Legacy Collection figure, which I thought was amazing. I don't like I saw this when they first came out and I just never really picked one up. I don't know why. I probably thought, oh, I'll pick one up later and I never got back to it. But I was able to find Zibalba. They also came out with Manolo and Maria. So hopefully I'll be able to find them sometime in the future. That will be amazing. So those three are the only items I got from my like, you know, quick New York toy hunt. Um, I could have bought more. I mean, I did buy more items but they were actually gift items for a friend and I don't want to show them here in the video because I know she watches my videos and I don't want to spoil it for her so yeah um, those three are the only items I got for myself um, and I could have bought more there were other items that I wanted but I don't know it's just I like I said because I wasn't expecting to do toy hunt I did not bring I did not have a lot of room in my suitcases. So yeah, those three were the only things I could fit. Any poo, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.